Consumer confidence has picked up. The FNB BR Consumer Confidence Index has come in at minus five points in the third quarter. That's from minus 10 previously. This puts the level at its best reading in five years. That's off the back of several positive developments for South Africa, chief amongst them being slowing inflation, the formation of a government of national unity, the absence of load shedding and a stronger rand. Outsurance's investors are in for a windfall. Shareholders in the firm will receive a final dividend of 113 cents per share. That reflects a 29% rise on the previous period's payout. A special dividend has also been declared. Combined investors will receive a total payout for the year to two of 214 cents, which is a near 50% jump. This follows a strong financial performance. For the full year, normalized earnings rose 20%. Hyprop has reported a strong operational performance by its South African and Eastern Europe portfolios. This helped to distributable income per share beat guidance. For the full year, distributable income per share came in at 370 cents. While that is down by 8.6%, it's better than the guidance that was provided by the firm for a slump of as much as 15%. A final dividend of 280 cents per share has been declared. NUM says it's prepping for the mother of all strikes. This comes after Seriti announced plans to retrench more than 1,000 employees, saying its mines are not commercially sustainable and require material restructuring to stay afloat. The union, which represents more than half of Seriti's workforce, says it will engage Mineral Resources and Energy Minister Gwede Mandashe to intervene and save jobs. Mete will exit Turkey. The battery and vehicle component maker says it will dispose of its business, uh, its business there for 1.9 billion rand. These funds will be used to pay down debt and this will allow the group to hone in on uh, growth initiatives. Once the transaction is complete, Mete will primarily focus on automotive component manufacturing in South Africa with a strategic focus on being a key player in the sub-Saharan African mobility sector. British American Tobacco has made key management changes. That's as the cigarette maker looks to advance its sustainability strategy. Amongst these shifts has been the creation of a new role, Chief Corporate Officer. And Kingsley Wheaton will take up this position. He will have overall responsibility for the strategy and execution of BAT Sustainable Future Pillar. Capital Appreciation CFO is stepping down. The fintech group says Alan Salomon, who is also one of its founders, plans to retire at the end of this year. He will be succeeded by Jude Duvenga, who has been CFO designate since August. Duvenga was previously the CEO and CFO of Meta Investments.